Hello YouTube! Welcome to another Let's Play Mech Commander. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we just finished uh, the reacquisition of base Gemini, I believe it was. I recorded that yesterday. And actually just uploaded it today, in fact. Uh, so we're going to start uh, this next mission here, Ambush and Acquiring the Mobile Headquarter. Go ahead and play the video for you. I seem to be getting my money's worth, Commander. Colonel, you'll want to see this. My operatives have uncovered the routes of several bandit supply convoys moving through the sector. Very good. I want the first heavy recon mobilized in five minutes. They'll destroy the convoy headed south. I want you to intercept the second convoy heading east. If her information is correct, there's a mobile headquarters included in the convoy. I want it. Alright, so, uh... Yeah, we're going after a mobile headquarter. Alright, so our objectives are to destroy some fuel tanks, destroy some enemies, and then capture a mobile headquarter. Uh, center officers have reoccupied without incident. Interrogation reveals existence, yada yada yada. Etc. Etc. If you guys want to read all this, you can uh, pause the video and read it yourself. Hopefully, uh, compression doesn't cram it down so you can't even see it. Uh, basically, we're going after the headquarters uh, data cores, where we will uh, probably receive further instructions in the field. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Okay. So yeah. Use resupply station to field and maintain mechs, so there's a good chance we'll find munitions or even a weapons facility. Weapons facilities are fun because they give me better weapons to uh, put on my mechs. So, yeah, that's always good. Alright, so... Our weight limit has gone up. So I'm going to swap uh, Meat's urban mech back out with that bushwhacker. Which brings me right up to my one nine day limit. Alright, and... Uh, excuse me, I was yawning. <laughs> I'm gonna put meat back in the bushwhacker because he's a medium autocannon specialist and the bushwhacker is decked out with a medium autocannon. Alright, so... Uh, Twitch will be in the Hunchback with his lasers. Uh, Razorback with its sensors will be piloted by Flash. And my two medium autocannon specialists are going to be in the autocannon equipped uh, Bushwhackers. Uh, I don't know how I forgot that. The name's written right up there at the top. Anyway, uh, so yeah, here we are. We're going to go ahead and launch the mission and uh, see what happens. All right, so here we go. I've taken control of your console for tactical review, sir. Cutscene. The convoy will be taking this road to the base. We should take out this military checkpoint and ambush the convoy when they come through here. Unfortunately, the enemy has set themselves up pretty well. The turret controls are very well protected. It'll be tough getting to them without being shot up in the process. Instead, we can fire at those fuel tanks. Destroying a fuel tank will cause a large explosion, damaging everything within the blast radius. We can also try shooting those turret generators. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and apologize here for uh, any drinky type sounds you might hear. I've got me a nice friendly cup of tea here, because I am still feeling a little, just a little blah. So, uh... Yeah, I'm going to move everyone right over here before taking long shot and meat up here to uh, attack these fuel lines. And, uh... Alright, so we've got a couple of mechs here and a vehicle. I'm not sure if I touched on that in the previous video. The identification. I don't think I did. Uh, basically, cylinders indicate vehicles, cubes indicate mechs, and that the the next level of a uh, sensor specialty 
Flash will be able to tell me like the weight class. And in the final specialty levels, she'll actually be able to identify exactly what the vehicle or mech is. Right, so I'm going to attack this uh, in-pipe from a long range. Get it. Alright, and run away! Because... All of the things. <laughs> it just everything explodes. Whatever this battle mech is, he took a big hit from that explosion as well. Wow, we just like raped that urban mech. I uh, did not expect that to happen. They must have got a lucky shot on him. Alright, so that's a fire ant who's toast. So we all kind of clear out. Yeah, we got a lucky shot on that urban mech. We took out both his legs and his cockpit. So I guess it really wasn't that much of a uh, lucky shot. I'm not sure what Long happened, honestly. Copy target. I'm on him. Oh hey, here. just target hit the fuel truck. In. Get it, I get it quickly. Alright, and now we'll kill Long him. Now that Long he's uh, hurting pretty bad. Yeah. Yeah, those, uh, the fuel vehicles are really just so valuable. Like, as far as targets, they make such a high-priority target because they can deal so much damage in collateral damage. Okay, I just, I keep on Objective killing these complete. things. <laughs> like, badly. Fine work, Sam. No. Those hills overlooking the road are excellent ambush points. Firing from high ground gives us a better chance of hitting an enemy's upper Enemy armor and cockpit. Captured. Once you get your Enemy mix up on those hills, captured. order them to hold position. When holding position, pilots will not move unless given a direct order, firing from where they stand. That convoy should be here any minute now. Our objective is to capture the HQ vehicle while destroying its guards. Careful. If the HQ vehicle is destroyed, we fail the mission. Also, enemy convoys often contain resource trucks. Don't blow them up. Capturing them gives us resource points just like capturing a resource building, just not as much. So I'm just kind of uh, throwing caution to the wind here and going after, going after the targets here. I need to be careful with uh, Flash here. She's been taking a lot of hits. All right, that's one target that's finally dead, like and not totally dead. Uh, wow, I just totally, like, wiped out that entire, uh, convoy a lot faster than I expected. Enemy resources captured. Alright. Uploading data from the HQ vehicle now, Commander. I'll... Whoa. Hey, affirmative. Wait a minute. Repair vehicle inbound. So this data contains the command structure of the whole bandit army. Uh... I know this guy. The leader of the bandits is a guy named Vong. He's an officer for House Liao. I don't know what's going on, but I think this job just got more complicated. Let's do some repairing here. Get my units uh, back up to snuff here. That's pretty much the only... Uh, the only thing I don't like about this game is the health system. Like you have, you can see like the general status of your machines down here on the bottom. But it doesn't really tell you a whole lot. Uh, mainly like, what am I trying to say? 
Like, in the conventional Battletech universe, you've got your exterior armor, and then you've got your interior, bleh, internal structure. Uh, so, like, you know, you can take a whole bunch of damage to your armor, and then after your armor is destroyed, you can continue to take a whole bunch of damage to your uh, internal structure. This game doesn't have that, it's just got kind of a general health. And really, it's just the... It's it's a lot more vague, I suppose, is what I'm trying to say. It's not quite as, uh... Precise as the tabletop game. Which, I mean, is probably for the best, because if it was, like, super precise, like the tabletop game, it probably would not have a very big following. Yes, there's a resource building over there that I could capture, but I'm not that concerned about it. I'm going to continue uh, my press forward over here to this weapons facility that I'm going to capture. Uh, I guess they didn't say anything about it during the uh, little spoken section there, but yeah, apparently there's a weapons facility. And a resource truck right here. Look at that. Have you guys run over here? I know it's a resource truck because it has a cylinder indicating it was a vehicle and it had this little capture icon. Enemy resources captured. This is not a resource truck. This is probably a tank of some kind. But uh, we'll kill it either way. The resource trucks are really not prime targets. Yeah, centipede. And I guess since we're already over here, we'll just take the dang resource building. Screw it. It's not that far out of my way anymore. I'll keep you guys here. Just send flash. Enemy resources right. captured. Get back over there. Alright, so... Back to where I was. I'm actually, I can probably... Turret control, okay, control. Okay, so there's really nothing over here of concern. There's my target, this weapons facility up here. So I could attack these ammo dumps to blow a hole in the wall, but that still leaves this really big hill. Uh, that pretty much Flash and Twitch are the only guys who can get over it. So it would make more sense for me to uh, call an airstrike right here on top of this generator. Which I think is actually going to be my plan. Uh, first, though, I do want to get my units a little closer so I can see see if there's any contacts like that. So I know it's a mech. It's probably a fire ant of some kind. More targets. Alright, so I'm going to call an airstrike just right here. Airstrike confirmed. Commencing countdown. Hopefully it'll take out this turret control building. Or not. So we call in another yeah, airstrike and Come go right countdown. after that generator. And hopefully we'll destroy the generator. Alright. Third time's the charm. Airstrike confirmed. Commencing countdown. Uh Alrighty, that's what I wanted to see, finally. Yeah, and I didn't really, it doesn't look like I hit any of the vehicles. But you know what, it's fine because now I don't have to worry about all these SRMs flying my way. There's an urban mech who's about to eat it. Alright, and he ate it. Oh, yeah. Enemy vehicle destroyed. 
See if we can't take him out without using ammunition. Mech power up detected. Doesn't matter. Kill him. Alright, this fire ant got hit by that airstrike, so. He's gonna explode, so I'm gonna run away. He's also going to explode. Yeah, I'm just... I'm really uh, ganking these guys hard here. Alright, Twitch is getting... chopped hard. Have him jump over here and capture this building. I got it, I got the building. Get everyone to attack Roger. that Keep fire on. ant. No problem, boss. And of course Twitch is going to be charging in headfirst. Hopefully he does not get killed. Nice shot with that auto cannon knocked him off his feet. Exploded. All right, so now I'll capture this uh, weapons facility and see what I get. Objective complete. All right, Skipper, you got yourself a stash of pulse laser weapons. It's a simple trade-off. They do more damage than regular lasers, but they generate more heat. Alright, so there we go. Got some pulse lasers, which, much like you said, regular lasers shoot a big beam. Uh, pulse lasers Command. are kind of like a machine Dino gun. Command, just inform me that there's a large bandit force heading our way. We need some support. Capture any resource buildings in the area. We can use the RPs to call in fixed artillery. That would be a uh, really great strategy if I hadn't spent almost all of my resource points calling in airstrikes. All fixed up. Long shot here. Good to go. And see, it's times like this that I kind of regret uh, blowing up that thing. Because now I could really stand to use some... Uh, automated turrets but oh well so I've got a bandit counterattack coming my way uh, I don't know if it's a like triggered event or if I just have to wait for them to walk all the way across the map I also don't know what direction they're gonna be coming from right there Okay, well, I can't call artillery in. You know what? I'm not even going to worry about the artillery. Copy. Transporting artillery. Oh. Okay. Well done, guys. Oh, well, that was effective. actually really powerful, it's making these guys stagger every time it hits. Okay guys, careful there. Alright, this fixed artillery just needs to stop. <laughs> Alright, Flash has been injured. Ah, run away guys. All right. Well, there's a couple of fire ants that survived. Mission successful. 
I think it may have uh, stopped recording right there. As I was saying, it sucks that that Star Slayer was destroyed because I really would have liked to salvage him. Oh well, I will grab... Uh... I guess I'll grab another urban mech. No, you know what? I won't. I don't want another urban mech. Nor do I want any of these fire ants. All of these guys can go suck it. Uh, Flash just killed nothing but fire ants. And she got the purple heart. Longshot did a pretty good job. Meat got himself a Medal of Valor. And Twitch just barely, barely scraped by. Well done, sir. Well done. According to the data you recovered, the All bandit right. leader is Chung. And, all right, so yeah, I should have uh, stopped it back there. Sorry. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, as always, uh, thanks for watching. Once again, uh, you can follow my Twitter, at Desabon71. Uh, following that will give you insight to my daily life and also give you a heads up whenever I upload videos. So uh, check that out if you want uh, to keep up to date on what's going on on my channel. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.